Okay, Stefan Ulametz. The European Space Agency Rosetta mission has released these stunning images of the Philae lander taken half a billion kilometers from Earth. The probe has made history by becoming the first spacecraft to land on a speeding comet. The lander manager explained they know roughly where the Philae lander is, but not exactly. We have a better understanding now how we got there. We still do not really know where. <laughs> As said, we probably landed uh, twice. It's already been announced. We landed three times, so there is an inflation of landing. The dishwasher-sized lander took seven hours to descend from its mothership Rosetta. It rotated, bounced awkwardly, but landed successfully on the comet's surface. The mission is not over. For us, it continues, as Ignacio said. We're preparing for the coming days, the coming weeks, the coming months, and maybe a couple of years more. So I wish everybody that in a couple of years, maybe, we are still here talking about this fantastic mission and this fantastic team and this fantastic comet and for more fantastic science. So thanks a lot. The space probe will now sniff and drill for samples from the surface of the comet. Euronews correspondent Jeremy Wilkes reports. So the photos are there now. We're starting to get this amazing information from Philae down there on the surface of the comet. It's not exactly where the scientists wanted it to be, but that doesn't matter. This is a most amazing mission. And you have to remember, the Rosetta will fly alongside the comet for the rest of 2015. Jeremy Wilkes in Darmstadt for Euronews.